Welcome to Sew for Self with LSC, where I teach you how to sew high fashion garments for yourself. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your jeans as long as you want. You can also use this same technique to give a new look to old jeans. The jeans that I have on now are too short and I want them extremely long. So let's begin. Okay, so the jeans that we want to lengthen, we're going to put those to the side for right now. Now these three pairs of jeans, as you can see, I got them in all different shades of denim. These three pairs of jeans are old jeans, too short, too small, too wet. So we're gonna take these jeans and cut strips in them. So use the back of the jeans and you're just going to cut panels out of them. each of them. Now that you have cut out the back of the jean leg, you're going to make them into two inch strips. Here's where you have freedom to make your strips as wide as you want and as many as you want. I just chose two inches for my project. Don't forget to add a half an inch seam allowance on both sides. Then we're going to cut out your two inch strips. You will be making strips out of all six jean leg cutouts. So here's my three colors, right? Medium and then dark. Then the same thing, light, medium, and dark, light, medium, and dark. So now you're going to sew these panels together. Your two strips sewn together. This is going to give me an extra two, four, six, eight, ten inches on these jeans. Okay, so let's put our sewn strips to the side. Now we take our, our jeans, turn them inside out. We figure out where we want them, where we want our extension of them. So, figure out where we want to place them. So let's do six inches. On this side, six inches here, and then we draw our line straight across. the exact same thing on the other side. So now we want to cut right on the line. Now that we cut the jeans, here is where we want to place our extension. and just cutting off the ends. Seam ripper. And you're going to open up these seams. Be careful. 
careful not to rip your jeans. I'm just gonna open it up like one or two inches, not too far, all the way down. So you're just gonna open up the seam. Once you have that open, you're gonna do the same thing to the other side of your jeans. Once the seam is open on both sides, We're gonna go back to this one. Now what we're going to do here is line it up. Pushing the back of the jean out of the way and just working with the front part of the jean. Finding the seams that you just opened up and then you're marking where the seams are. So that's what you're gonna sew. So now, you're gonna take the back, the front half, seam to seam, line it up to where you just marked it, and pin it. Pin it closed. And this is just the front part. should be at the seam to seam where your mark is with your regular piece of chalk and you're going to pin it together and you're going to flip it and do the exact same thing with the back side so this one is a little further out because the back is always longer than the front. So now you want to introduce and line up the top part of the pants. So now we're connecting it. See how it's coming together? Now we're gonna make sure our seams are lined up. The top ones lined up with the bottom ones. Take our ruler and just draw your line. To make sure it's all lined up. And you're gonna do the exact same thing with the other side. Line it up, your seam to seam. the front. So now you can pin it. Then you want to flip it and do the same thing on the other side. And now you want to sew. You're going to sew here and then you're going to turn it around. Sew here. You're going to sew the bottom here. So you're going to sew everywhere you just put your pins at. So you're going to sew your extension to your jeans. So everything has been attached. So now we're going to close up the sides of the jeans. So this is how we're going to close up the side of the jeans. Now here's where you close your seams back up. On the line, your seams back up. So we should be sewing right across your chalk outline. So let's pin it together to make sure everything is lined up. Let's do the same on the other side. That seam following running into that seam. So you should have a little bit more fabric on the hanging off the back than you do on the front. The front should be tight. The back should be a little loose. 
but you're pinning the seams together. And now you're going to sew it. Once you pin everything, make sure your pattern is matching on both sides. Now since everything has been pinned, your sides have been sewn, now all the extra on the sides, you can cut off. Leave about a half an inch. You have done both sides. So now you just turn your pants the right way. Done. My jeans are complete. I have added an extra 10 inches to my jeans. You can create an infinite number of patterns and designs by using this technique. Like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Follow me on Instagram and let me know what you created. Thanks for watching Sew for Self.